Welcome back everybody, I'm Sir and we're gonna play some more Battle Brothers, the Lone Wolf playthrough. Well, not so Lone Wolf. Well, we'll see what happens. I might get everyone killed except of Serdom. It's always a possibility. I want to take a quick moment just to thank everybody for being patient. I know episodes have been real spotty. I have every intention and fully believe I will be able to start getting episodes out daily again from this point forward. Um, how stuff has been going on, I finally got a yard put in to my new house uh, just yesterday. And I put a picture up on the Discord, so if you come by the Discord, you can see my yard. It's it's just a yard, it's not that impressive, but god, it's not until you're out there having to like water it twice a day that you realize how fucking big your yard is, uh, and crap like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just, just how stuff going on, work stuff going on. The full moon was terrible, as I was complaining the other day, it still is terrible. I was out there the other night, I wasn't even at work, I was just out there just like grimacing at it, because I fucking hate the moon. <laughs> it's just trying to mind its own business. But... I do remember we left off, we were going to attack these orc young, and thank god I left out out here, because I was like, god, what were we doing in Battle Brothers? It's just been so long since I played it, and I hate that. Uh, but, here we are. We know what to do. We're going to have to murder them and uh, hopefully get some food out of it. When we get the strange meat, I always tell myself it's them we're eating. Like, when you hunt down the wolves, and you have strange meat, you're eating them. I tell myself the strange meat from the orcs is just orc meat. I'm sure it's not supposed to be, but that's how, that's how it works out in my head, so just go with it. I think everyone is in pretty decent shape. Hopefully I didn't just jinx us. We'll repair it up. I think it's a good time. It's a good time to get in there, so let's do it. It's a plethora of orc young. Fantastic. Maybe Absurdum should have his axe out. Just to help go. God, what is this nonsense? Really? What is this ridiculousness? Alright, we're gonna take a step back. I don't think we're gonna really have any problem with these guys, but... That's okay. Why give them any advantage? Um, there's just no no real point to it. Well, we'll most likely be sticking you up there for the higher ground. So I had another comment uh, from somebody. This was on a Legends video. I'm still getting views on my Legends videos, um, which kind of makes me feel bad because I don't. They weren't bad, but I don't really feel like they were good. Uh, but somebody was asking about how to install it um, and I've gotten probably a fair amount of comments asking that on legend videos I mean that I haven't come out with one for some time I guess you're just gonna have to deal right there we'll straighten out this line here in a little bit it's kind of a hot mess um, it makes me wonder if I should just do a quick video on like how to install it because it's really not that bad but I'm sure if you're going um, to the website and you're taking a look at it you're like what what in God's name is going on here? Um, especially if you're not used to installing mods manually or anything like that. I feel like a fair amount of people aren't the day of the Steam workshop and whatnot these days. Um, so I don't really hold it against anybody for not knowing how. Uh, but like I said, it's it's really not that complicated to do if you know how to do it. Um, so the video would be short. And I think people might really appreciate that. At least that's the gist I'm getting since I've had a fair amount of people ask me now. So I guess what I'm getting at is if you see a video like that soon, uh, don't think too much of it. You're like, why did Absurdum do this random stupid video? Well, there you go. That's why. Mystery resolved. Um, let's keep you there because you're the tank. I don't want Unity to really have a low ground spot there. I feel like that's kind of asking for some trouble. Alright, let the orc murder and feasting begin. My cat is being so fat, just rolling out on the floor. Trying to lay there, like, draw me like one of your French girls. Just desperate for attention. She's not gonna get it. Alright, we'll get these initial, like, st stun nonsense out of the way. And then, uh, hopefully just murder the hell out of people. Like so. Ah, cut him down. This one already wants to run. Friend trying to get some sweet stun revenge there. You know they're gonna try that shit on Absurdum. It's not gonna work. Ah, beautiful. Absurdum's just gonna walk up and miss, apparently. Oops, I think I skipped a turn and did not mean to. Oh, 
Uh, who's asking for it? You're kind of asking for it. Great shots from Heavy Arms. No real surprise there. 91% chance behind a shield. I mean, come on. Come to freak out. Yeah, I was trying to hit that guy, but I forgot we can't reach him. He's fleeing anyways, so I guess it would be dumb to do that. Trying to go around? That's not going to work out for him. Good dodge. Uh, you're both fleeing. Oh, no, now you're fleeing. Alright. Malice doesn't need another kill. Not like some people do. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to replace you. He can pick up the kill there. They can't touch him, Serdum. They don't have a fucking chance in hell of landing attack on him. I don't care if there is four of them on him. He's just going to do what he damn pleases and walk right out. Let me tell you about Absurdum. Does not give any fucks. It's fresh out. Just like heavy arms shooting people from downtown. Alright, get down there. Um, okay, there is, there is an orc there. He's not dead. Not yet. Hello. Hey. That was not very smart of you. You think you're smart. You think what you've done is intelligent and safe. But you are wrong. Don't shoot the bush. He did it anyways. God, these poor, poor bastards. Uh, kill. Kill. Just decimating these fuckers. Look at him go. Not a fucking chance, I tell you. Unity just snapping an elbow. That mace. It's just fucking amazing. Part of me hates that it looks wooden like that. Because it doesn't look nearly as intimidating. But then part of me really loves the fact that it doesn't look as deadly as it really is. Like The thing should be made out of like razor blades and sharp glass. For as deadly as it is. I don't know, whatever other deadly looking intimidating stuff looks like. Good job, Malice. That's enough for me, though, I think. Yeah. Good job, good job. Dead. And let's just leave. Oh, no, no. He doesn't get away with that. Um. Sorry, my cat has moved to plan B for getting attention. Uh, sitting there and trying to look pretty wasn't working, so now she's coughing up a hairball. With the dumbest fucking look on her face. My cats, luckily, don't typically actually puke when they cough up the hairball. They just swallow it again like idiots. Uh, which I'm fine with, because I don't want to clean up any more cat vomit than I already do. Uh, prizes suck, no real surprise. Uh, but we got meat. And a fair amount of tools to repair with. I don't think we actually took that many blows. So that really does a lot for us out here. And it should help with the green skin. More. I wonder what's there. Child Snatcher's Cave. Oh, I think somebody was telling us about this place. That sounds familiar. Or maybe I was just looking at it again. Maybe we'll stop up there. We'll need some time to repair. Won't take us quite that long, but that's vampires, and I think that was all... Oh, that was the... Um, really nice champions that I don't think we can go fighting as much as I would really like to. But we walk away with a fair amount of food, even though most of it I think will go bad soon. What is here? Sor Theodric. Theoderich. Theoderich. Is that a real name? <laughs> well, he's undying. His friends just left town, which means there's probably like no necromancer or something nasty there. Oh, that's not so bad. You know he's gonna have something famed. Probably a shield would be my guess. Speaking of shields, let's get you a new one here. Luckily we can do just that. Will you stop already? No one's entertained by you. What are you doing? You're just gonna waver back and forth, confused. 
That's fine, I suppose. Until you can't see me anymore. No, he's still gonna just do it. That's really strange behavior. I think he's trying to run away from me and he can't decide which way is actually gonna get him out of there. Which I think is hilarious. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm gonna kill your friends. It's just the kind of guy I am. I think we're all looking good, we're all repaired up, no one has light wounds. Let's go see what Sir Theo... I'm just gonna call him Sir Theo. Let's go see what he's all about. Some guys, not even that many guys. I know, I know, I'm doing a bad job staying focused on the, uh... Fight the Greenskins objective. But all experience is experience. Zombies is, are always great experiences. Words, absurd. Always a great experience to be made. So really, it'll be alright. Everything helps us. And if I remember correctly, like, every enemy... Like, there's some enemies, obviously, that give more experience than others, but... I always kind of assumed it was a little more drastic than it actually was. Um, like, killing a big, giant enemy would be worth way more experience than some random zombie, but... Uh, or, like, a thug is... A, in a raid or big experience differences, but they're really not. I think one of my main problems in this game is the fact that I've just always uh, pushed myself to fight bigger enemies than I really should be because I thought I was getting more from it uh, when I should have been spending more time fighting lower level enemies, even though the loot sucks and whatever. Um, I think you're making it out ahead money-wise. Get him. Just because. You're not... Re Placing people, which is of course very expensive. That's my takeaway from. If I had one takeaway from this own what campaign, it's don't be too antsy to fight people that are stronger than you or moderately stronger than you. Purely pick fights that you are gonna decimate in, uh, which seems like something I should have probably picked up on like 700 some hours in this game but I didn't so there's that let's go to quick hands you got see if we can drop that perfect I should look at the chances but that's okay yeah I'll take that I'm okay with what just happened there Clearly I'm focusing pretty heavy on this guy, as I think he's our only real threat other than the Geists, doing what Geists do. Uh, I'm not convinced that we're going to be able to take them all out necessarily right away. Um, but honestly, as long as I can just kind of deal with them, get half of them gone, which I've already done, then I'm happy with that, you know. Having one or two of them is a lot less threatening than having four or six or seven. They really build off the top of each other. Let's kind of spread that love around a little bit. Okay. Dead. If this guy ends up jumping back in there, I'm okay with that. Um, sure. You can't get anybody. 42% chance you hit it last time, huh? I'll just rest you. Those guys will get closer. And apparently scream at you. Good hit. That is a lot of damage on a zombie for a piercing weapon. i just like to put that out there. Good hits on people. Very good hits on people. Go ahead, see. Good. That's out of everyone here, Sai is the one that I wanted to uh, try to get his sp spear it up. Nice. I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, it did not work. <laughs> it did not pay off yet. But to continue to decimate these guys will be fantastic. Let them come to us up over here. We'll switch Absurd and back out to his other weapon, I think. 
the time is meow. Interesting. Um, I mean, I'd really like to bring the axe out, but that's alright. Can't always get what you want. Oh, look, he's back. Mm, yes, that is a concern of mine. Good shot, friend. Yeah, that's fine for now. Ugh, that's brutal. And we got him. Let's focus next on some of our other friends. You missed. Let's go ahead and bring this out. Chop. It's okay if we missed. He's not going to go for Unity, I'm sure. Wolf is just too much of a target. Beat that guy's armor up. Just handling them up there. They are just being handled. What more could you effing want in life? Other than a very nice taunt. Lands that blow, and guess who doesn't give one shit? Sing Isaac. Stunned. Dealt with. Ooh, I thought that would put him down. I thought for sure that would do it. His head fell off. Excellent work. Just wrapping this up. Uh, I still need to get you some arrows. My bad, Erhard. One of these days I might learn. Jeez, Saint Lath or Sir Lathar. Not Saint Lathar. Just absolutely brutalizing people. I expect you go down. You did. Good kill. Let's kill you again. Oh, snap. There we go. Very nice. Let your rest, let your rest. See who else pops up and joins the fun. Very nice. Hey, that could have gone a lot worse, and we got two levels to walk away from. We did end up getting some shitty shield I didn't want. Um, but we got a crap ton of money, which is always good. How is this? I mean, it's heater shield, but really it doesn't, it doesn't seem that much nicer than a normal heater shield. 32 means an extra 5 melee defense, which is nice. I would have liked to see a low fatigue, to be honest. Um, having that extra durability is... Pretty nice, especially for a heater shield, so I guess I won't complain too much. Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, chances are I'll use it. Once people get a little bit more fatigue and can be a little more forgiving with it, that extra five is five chance to get hit, so. Now we have a lot of repairing to do and not too much food to go along with it. Do I have arrows for you? Crossbow bolts. Have we fought anybody that might happen? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're going to get a level up here. What would be right for us mastery-wise? I wonder. I would still like to put you in some slightly heavy armor. I don't know. Maybe we'll chill out on fatigue for now. Uh, 94 and an archer is pretty good. And chances of you being put in heavy armor, not necessarily going to happen. Though, wearing this out in a fight... You're going to be stuck in melee, like the obelisk fight will be troublesome for you. So that's a tough call. Another tough call, Berserk, Headhunter, both abilities I love. I think they're great for an archer. Maybe Berserk more though. He's been getting a fair amount of kills lately. 16 battles, 25 kills, more kills than one a day, which is... Pretty good work.
Definitely that. I don't know. Five health is nice, but I don't know if you really need it, to be honest. I wish the dissolve roll was a bit better. These rolls are pretty decent, but once again, I don't think I really need them. So is two resolve really worth it? That's a minimum roll, I'm pretty sure, off the top of my head. Yeah, we'll stick with that, I think. Uh, you can do a lot with this mastery in Berserk. So I think that's a good way to go as well. Ah, uh, this food will go bad here soon. Let's see how much repairing we can get done. At least he's minding his own business and staying the hell out. But I'd like to pop up here and see what's going on. He's like, I just, I really want to go explore this swamp. Please let me pass. I'm just like, no. Suck it and die. He's like, I'm, I'm already dead. Few young mini berserkers. Now, I think that's something we can probably handle. This will be a true test. Um, it might be Absurdum Axe time, though. I mean, Absurdum is super strong with his axe, right? If he can get surrounded, which I can I can do, I can make that happen. Um, the axe just gives him an insane amount of... Uh, no injuries, right? Looking good. An insane amount of uh, melee defense, and that's important, obviously. Hmm. This fatigue's okay, though, I feel like. Uh, which one of you needs the shield better? I think it's without a doubt Wolf. Wolf. I don't really care about that an extra bit. We'll let it go, just because I'm a nice guy. Alright. Let's do this. I think we're ready. And this will more than likely be the final fight for the episode. Just keeping an eye on time. Let's move up a little. Put Absurdum in all the right places. Boop! Shot him in the arm. Sorry, that's a leg. Apparently. I'm concerned about this guy and this guy. He just took my spot, which I'm not very pleased about. Absurdum was very much going to go there. It's just too damn slow. It's three two-handed axes that I am very, very concerned. Now, we have people here that are all soldiers and do know how to handle themselves. So, that is a huge help, obviously. But then we have people who are not. I want to try to get that first jab in on him. And I th think this is more or less how I want. If we can injure him or maybe get him set up to die, which doesn't seem like it. I was hoping for like a cut arm or something that would make it very hard for him to hit me, but no such luck. We'll probably move up to start that attack on him. You guys will most likely be moving down to help counter this nonsense. What else we got? Well, we still missed. What was his chance? Just so I know, it's 19. It's a bit too high for my liking. Hmm, really? I want him, I want to move, uh, what is it, Mr. Donut here, uh, to this spot, I suppose, to this spot, so they could both move two tiles and get an attack in this turn. If you're wondering what that was quite about, um, that's one more attack than I would have had. Okay, so these two can't get in and engage and attack next turn. It's good for me to know. Good, yeah, F up his head. 
Boop. Just a little boop on the nose. And murder. So he could maybe jump over here, but that's an orc young, so I'm not as concerned as I am about murdering that gentleman right there. I'm trying to break my new shield, you stupid fucker. Do not think I did not notice. So this guy's gonna go around quickly. Despite he landed that blow there, which is not really great. There it is. There's Berserker already paying off. Uh, just because Absurdum is going to be smacking at him, too. Trying to break my goddamn shield. I just got that stupid thing. Look at the extra injuries. So I used uh, the second ability as opposed to the first one. We've got Split Hand and Cut Arm. Uh, which well, honestly, most likely just entice him to... Uh, Try to cut the rest of my shield down more than anything. Not necessarily what I want since we did just get that shield. Where are you? How's it looking? It's already half down. But, say la vie, such is life. Bleed him! You know what to do. Bleed him dry. Thara's gonna go up there and protect you. Oh, he's gonna do more than that. I'm gonna murder. Fuck out of people. This is God given right. Yeah, you're in trouble. Um, I'm actually gonna do that and go here. I want this guy dead. Uh, he wants to run. Never mind. Perfect. I just didn't want him breaking that shield. He was going to. Just, just to know. A little bit of bleed, unfortunately. You gotta punch me like I care. Boop. Boop. There it is. There's Berserker paying off. Brilliant. Good shot. Just get him good. Look at that. Not so bad. I knew we could do it. I wasn't worried in the slightest. So maybe a little worried. But, uh, honestly, we got such monsters. Um, I'm not happy about any of the people that have died, but the fact that Luthar was not one of them, and, um, St. Isaac, Milos, true murder machines, other than, of course, Absurdum. Who honestly didn't even do that much damage. Uh, we want to talk about who did the most damage. Let's look. Looks like it's Malice. And Earhart coming up, what, second there? I mean, that's that's to be noted. How much that little pike there hurts, hurts people. Uh, you need to be doing a lot of damage, considering. And um, don't let Sai fool you with his 50 damage. He was all whipped that fight, and a lot of utility came from it. There's some more food, some mushrooms, so we can get, you know, high as a kite. Whatever you do with mushrooms. Oh my! Round a fight broke out between Serdum Gisbert and Mister Glazed. Uh, let's see. No one can remember. Okay, so it's not because backgrounds or anything. It's just I think a purely random event. No levels. Oh my. Many orc young, a few warriors. Should be good on food again. It's gonna take a long time to repair. Let's take a step back and do it. Looks like they came out here, took care of those zombies running around, and decided to go back home. Which was quite nice of them. Really? I'd rather fight the greenskins. We gotta win this war. In it, I can't imagine it being too much longer. We've been fighting a fair amount of them. Six hours, still good on food, paying out the nose for people. Uh, our wagon's probably getting quite full. Yes, yes it is. But we have some good things to sell, even if it's just from the undead. All right, and we're all repaired up. 
So I'm going to end the episode here. I don't think we're going to have enough time to make it there before evening, which kind of sucks. It's not paying enough attention. Uh, but I don't see myself necessarily waiting for the daytime or the morning. We'll probably just fight at night. It only is really harming two people. And I don't think Heavy Arms even really cares at this point. He should be able to land on most shots. So, I'll take this moment to thank everyone for coming by. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode nearly as much as I am. This series is still a lot of fun for me. I can't wait to kind of head back out west where it's really dangerous and start picking some big fights again. Uh, I think we are, we are quite getting there, really. Um, we need to head back to town and train. I think that's why we're seeing a bit slow down in our leveling, but most people, part people are really getting there. Level 7's, uh, 7, 6, but he's almost level 7. And these people are turning out to do us pretty well. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with everyone coming by. Please let me know your thoughts if you have any. I always love to hear from everybody. I try to get back to everyone ASAP. I'm usually pretty good about it. But lately, things have been a little jolty in my schedule. And my phone stopped giving me notifications. I should probably go in there and double check it. But I always do like to hear from people, and I do try to get back to everyone. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.